So today we are going to discuss about ISO 27001 standard. ISO 27001 is a base standard to implement within the organization to protect information, also cyber related risk and the risk related to the privacy. So ISO 27001 is a standard which can be implemented in the organization and this standard is used to audit also. Your organization would be certified on ISO 27001 standard. Now, there are certain things in the ISO 27001 standard. It, the standards start from clause 1 to clause 10 and there are annex A part is also there where A5 to A18 is the clause of related to the controls. You can say there are total 114 controls are there. Total 114 controls are there in the ISO 27001 standard. Now, what happened? ISO 27001 standard, ISO 27001 standard was earlier of ISO 27001 2013. This standard was, you can say, uh, published in year 2013. Now the standard has been revised and the new standard would be ISO 27001 2022. In 2022, this standard has been revised. Now we need to adhere uh, this standard itself. So today we are going to discuss what actually the differences are between 2013 standard and 2022 standard. So we are going to see the differences between 2022 and 2021. The controls given in the standard, the, there are various controls are there. Those controls would be implemented across the organization as per the organization needs and requirements. As per the requirement, we need to implement the thing in our organization. The ISO 27002 standard, earlier the stand, this is the ISO 27002 standard, which is in front of you. This is the international standard, name is ISO 27002. Earlier this standard is being used for only protection of information security. Now what they have done, they have also included cyber security and the privacy protections also. Cyber security is also part of the standard and the privacy data that is called as your PIMS. PIMS is also being included in this standard. Now, uh, this is the personally identifiable information. PII related thing would be also a part of privacy related framework. So this, so we can say this standard, this framework applies for cyber security, information security, and all the privacy related protections. So we are going to see what actually the changes are, how the changes, what the changes has been there in the standard. So earlier the standard was having, there are certain changes, what we are going to see earlier the standard was, the first we need to understand what actually the ISO 27002 standard is. So ISO 27002 standard establishment of best practices within an organization. The benefit of ISO 2002 standard is that it will help us to implement best practices within the organization. Clients and our partner would be having more confident in our organization the moment we are going to implement the ISO 27002 standard. Specific how ISMS should be implemented, managed, and evaluated. This would be specific to how the we need to implement the information security management system within the organization, or how it will be implemented, how it will be managed, and how it will be evaluated. So there are certain benefits given by the ISO 27002 standards. Basically, what is ISO 27002 standard? Is the ISO 27002 standard is the control technique that are intended to address the specific issues discovered during the risk assessment process. 
So we are doing the risk assessment process. During the risk assessment process, we are identified certain risks related to cyber security, certain risks related to the privacy thing. Now, the once we do have identified certain risks, then we need to also uh, control those risks or we need to mitigate those risks. Mitigate would be a better word. We need to mitigate those risks. So how we are going to mitigate it? To mitigating those risks, we can take reference of ISO 27002 standard. So basically, it serves a roadmap for creating and implementing effective security management procedures across the organizations. ISO 27002 creates a roadmap for creating and implementing effective security management procedure across the organization. I, what is ISO 27001 and what is ISO 27002? As I have said earlier, ISO 27002 is an ISMS specification or certification that provides a framework for ISMS planning, implementing, monitoring, review, and improve. So this is a specific specification, certain specifications are, are given in the ISO 27002 standard that needs to be implemented across the organization. Basically, you can say ISO 27001 ask for certain requirement you need to fulfill those requirements once you fulfill that requirement you will be able to get a proper iso 27001 certification now you can say your organization is iso 27001 certified iso 27002 is a supplementary standard this is a supplementary standard that explain how the organization should implement ISO 27002, so 27001 control for those things. What, what are the requirements laid by the ISO 27001 standard? How to meet those requirements are given in ISO 27002 standard. So basically, ISO 27002, you can say uh, it can be called as a handbook that has certain recommendations. Those recommendations can be implemented in the organization that can assist to get ready for your exam that is called as ISO 27001. So you can understand by this way, ISO 27001 is your exam. How to pass those exams, how to practice the things are given in ISO 27002. In the same way, suppose I need to pass my 12th standards exam. So there are certain now, I need to appear in the 12th standard exam. That I need to refer certain uh, textbook also. You can say ISO 27002 is a textbook. What we need to go through, we need to practice the things, we need to implement the thing, and accordingly, we can go in the exam. So that's uh, the basic difference between ISO 27001 and ISO 27002. ISO 27002 2013 version versus ISO 27002 2022 version. Earlier, as I have mentioned, earlier the ISO 27002 have 114 control, total 114 control, which has been grouped in 14 chapters. Earlier, 114 controls were there, and that controls were grouped in 14 chapter that start from your A5 NX A5 to A18. It start from A5 to A18. And all those controls are given R114. Total 114 controls were there. Now, when talking about ISO 2022 version, this version has been redesigned the some controls were grouped and some it is it has you can say also there are certain controls has been reduced the total 93 controls are there those those 93 controls has been grouped in four chapters now we don't have 14 chapters now you can say 14 domains now we will have only four domains total 93 controls are there and in four chapters. So the basic difference is in the control itself. Like earlier, 114 control were there. Now we are having 93 control itself. 
those controls has been marked the controls which are given in the four chapters or you can say 93 controls those controls will be marked by the control type what is the control type what is the classification of the control this has been also aligned with your nist framework that is available for the cyber cyber security framework or nist framework is your globally recognized framework for the cyber security this standard has been also aligned to the cyber security framework and the operational capability the control has been marked in you can say in four groups the main changes what are the main changes in iso 27022022 version the term code of practice or earlier the term code what code of practice were there this code of practice has been dropped documented a uh, document structure has changed some control has been consolidated some controls has been removed and some controls has been added so it is not that ki all the controls has been removed some controls has been consolidated earlier there were four five controls were in the group now they have consolidated those control some control has been removed and some control has been added also the major thing is that earlier there were 14 domains now the domains or you can say category has been removed to these four these four only this has been aligned as per the nist framework also so the first one is your organizational control second one is the people control the third one is the physical control and four one is the technological control now we can say there are four category of the control what needs to be implemented across the organization to protect against the cyber security related risk privacy related risk or risk related to your information security that start from your organizational control people control physical control and the technological control so those controls which are from the top management levels comes under the organizational controls the controls related to the hr department of the organizations comes under the people control the control related to physical security or environmental security comes under the uh, normally uh, it it is related by the admin team of the organization that comes under the physical control or your physical access controls uh, uh, environmental control temperature management all those cctv monitoring and all all those things comes under the physical control now the last control is the technological control the control related to your it department your all technical control your ips installation of ips id system installation of firewall your active directory management your log management uh, your sim management sim based tools sim management and all uh, antivirus and anti viruses installation and all all those things or you, you can say logical access control all those things comes under the technological control so, so it related control would be called as the technical control so there are four domains organizational control people control physical controls and the technological control so uh, this charts gives us the consolidated the consolidation of the control those who have seen iso 27001 2013 standard they must know uh, that uh, this start from your a5 a5 to a18 it is divided into uh, a5 to a18 so we can see there are certain controls has been consolidated like uh, 5.1 policy of information security 5.9 inventory of inform like uh, 5.1 earlier was the policy for the information security now 5.1.1 uh, 5.1.1 and 5.1.2 has been consolidated consolidated in the same way your inventory of information and other associated assets has been consolidated in 8.1 8.12 in the same way uh, certain new clauses has been also be added we will discuss the new clauses new controls has been what are the new controls has been added the threat intelligence what we are discussing during the uh, risk management thing that how what could be the threat intelligence the threat intelligence related clause has been added uh, the most uh, you can say the major changes has been done major addition you can say you done to the information security use of cloud services because now what everyone is moving to the cloud services so how we are going to ensure our data is safe on the cloud services service provider 
So information security of use of cloud services is the major addition which is also required earlier. It is also being raised by various uh, persons also that this is a requirement during uh, of this era where we are moving from uh, normal service to the cloud-based platform. So data masking, data leakage prevention, DLP earlier organization was using this controls additionally, which is not identified in ISO 27001 uh, 2013 version. But this has been also been mandatory now. This has been also been added. Uh, web filtering, secure coding, some monitoring services has been also been added. Information deletion is added. Configuration management, because earlier it was a part of uh, uh, ITSM itself, ISO 20, uh, 20001. So this has been also been added. Business continuity for plan for the ICT information communication technology products and all. This has been also been ready. Physical security monitoring has is also being, you can say, added in the ISO 27002-2022 version. Some of the controls had been removed or deleted, like handling of assets, reporting of information security weakness, and the removal of assets. These three controls had been deleted. So this is the overall uh, things. What are the things has been added? What are the things has been deleted? Now I will show you the standard. Basically, what how the standard looks like. So this is the ISO 27002-2022 standard. Uh, we have discussed about the thing that now the standard code of practices has been uh, removed from here itself. Now information security, cyber security, and privacy protection, information security controls has been added. So this is the standard look like. Now you can see this standard have a total eight clauses, I think. Yeah, I suppose eight clauses are there. Now in this eight clauses, you can see this has been divided into organizational control. In the organizational control, you can see uh, whatever comes from the top management of the organization, like your policy of information security, your segregations of the duty, acceptable use of information security assets, identity management, authentication right, access rights. So these are the things comes under your organizational controls. One thing has been additions, you can say privacy and protection of TIA has been added. Now, when we are talking about the people control, the control related to the HR department, uh, like your training, your screening, your terms and condition of employment, uh, disciplinary processes, information security awareness training to the users, confidentiality and non-disclosure and agreement, uh, remote working, because nowadays everyone is working from the work from home, the remote working things, all had been added in the people related controls. The physical security, the controls related to admin requirement, uh, admin department of the organization, like your physical entry, your physical security perimeters, uh, securing of offices, rooms and all, physical security monitoring, your clear desk, clear screen policy, you can see here, uh, clear desk and clear screen policy is also being a part of your physical controls. Storage media, cabling security, equipment maintenance, and the disposal of the equipment is a part of your physical controls. Now, talking about the technological controls. In the technological controls, all the controls related to IT department, like your end user uh, control, your privilege access, your access management, your capacity management, your uh, protection against malware, uh, your log monitoring, network security, web filtering, secure coding, so all would be the part of your technological controls. So this standard looks like uh, this, a total changes are there. As I'm mentioning that this standard is a guide for you, what needs to be implemented across the organization. Uh, better you can say how it will be implemented, the requirement related to ISO 27001, what are the things are given in ISO 27001 standard? How this standard would, how those requirements would be implemented is given in ISO 27002 standard. 
let's take one of the example for that. Uh, this is the standard. I'm scrolling down, going to the clause number five, like organizational controls. You can see here what I'm mentioning that this organize this ISO 27002 has been categorized in your NIST framework uh, as per the NIST framework also. Like you can see cybersecurity concept like identify. Identify is the identify phase in the identify phase of the cybersecurity framework. This falls. Uh, you can see also information security properties by implementing uh, by having information security policy. What what you will have? What what is going to be pre protected? Like confidentiality of the data, integrity of the data, and the availability of the data is going to be prevented by using this. Another thing is the control type. They have implemented, they have introduced these things also. Control type. There are two types of control type, preventive and detective. Those controls, those controls, which are used as a preventive purpose, would be a detect preventive control. Those controls are used as a detective purpose, like you are you are detecting something would be your detective control. Preventive controls is a preventive measures when the, during the identification of the risk, we have identified some risk. So that risk may not happen. Okay, for that purpose, we are we are uh, uh, having a preventive measures. We are taking the preventive measures. That controls would be called as a preventive control. Now. The reacting over, over those controls, or you can say controlling those, uh, con uh, those risks when the risk happens, or you can say we can detect, we can able to detect the uh, uh, risks or the incident. So this would be called as a detective control. In the same way, operational capability, it comes under the governance model. Security domains, you can see governance, ecosystem, and regulation. Nowadays, everyone is talking about the governance, risk, and compliance. This comes under the governance part. Like uh, we have this, so this, this standard has been also aligned as per the NIST framework. Like uh, we in the NIST framework, we do have identify phase, identify phase. We have protect phase. The first phase is identify phase. Another phase would be your protect phase. The next phase would be your detect phase. All those detect, detect, detect phase. Next phase is your respond phase. Our next phase is your respond phase and next last one is your recover phase so this standard has been also been aligned as per the cyber security cyber security framework control by preventive and detective aligned as per the governance risk and compliance framework and what would be impacted like cia would also be given so that's all from, from this standard, ISO 27002 standard. Uh, hope it will help you over your journey for the implementation of cybersecurity or information security or the prime uh, PIMS across the organization.